What is up everyone, my name is Volcanicash68 and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last episode, we beat the game. And now it's time to find some mythical weapons. So what we're doing is, after doing all of the things in the game, not really all of the things, but most of all the collectibles, you get these tablets. Right, and that's for Excalibur. I know, I knew that from the start. There's a level of 11 of them throughout the map. And now we are on our way to get Excalibur. We're going to get in two other weapons in this video. Why? Because. Why at the end of the game? Also because you kind of have to. For the other two we're going to get, you need to complete... Or, uh... Do the only one quest line... Quest... I can't talk right now. Quest line with Sigurd. And the other one you need to do all of the... Uh, uh, order people get all the order medallions to hide them and so I've done all of this and we're just gonna do it we're gonna get the weapons apparently they're all like really good and I want them so I think I've made up my mind and we're gonna record the uh, wrath of the druids DLC eventually Alright, I believe this is the cave entrance to Meridian Cave, or some M-word cave I can't pronounce properly. And this is where you get Excalibur. Meridian's Cave? Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. I can't see. Is there any puzzles I have to do in here, or do I just run? Looks like I just run for now. Apparently this Excalibur is the strongest weapon in the game. According to some of the people who've gotten it before me. Is this the opening? Is this the big opening? Ooh. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Which way do I gotta go? There must be some sort of path to follow. see that far. Do I- I think I just yeet. Let me do some yeeting. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like going underwater. This is when I'll play Subnautica! I'm just going to assume we got to go this way. If not, well, I'm sorry, Eivor, you're going to drown in here. And if this flashing bothers you, I'm sorry. I just, I need to see where I'm going. Alright, well, uh, that wasn't so bad, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, I'm such a baby when it comes to water stuff. I feel like greatest fears are burning alive and drowning. No thank you. Let's not fall down. Understood. I totally can read that. <clears throat> Gods, this is immense. All right, what do I do? I'm gonna keep running straight until it tells me not to, and it told me not to. Holy! 
okay, yeah. That's... Why is everything so freaking dark? Yeah, because that totally helped me out. I don't think that was the right way to go anyway. Maybe this way? Yeah, it's this way. I would have been sad if you missed. Is that it? Oh, that looks pretty, look, looks pretty special to me, man. Stone pillars with holes at their base. Someone placed a seal here. How long ago, I wonder? Mmm, this is what the eleven are for. Do I have to do this animation for every single one of them? Yeah, alright, let me put these in real quick. Alright, here goes the last one. And I've got some questions, Eivor. You're carrying around all these stones in your pockets for who knows how long. Right, like, what are you doing? And how do you have the strength to carry all these- Okay, it's glowing now. I think we did something right. Ooh, is this the Master Sword? <laughs> that looks actually really dope. Oh yeah, we're in style now. I knew the sword the Britons call Excalibur. Cattle flitch? What the heck? Well, all right, that's one down, and I'm gonna get ready to go to the next one. Alrighty, so we are back in Norway, up all the way to the top of the map, up here to Goin Hellier, and the next weapon, move right in this cave, and when the story was specifically we went to the right, the weapon is to the left. Apparently it's like super easy to get, but that you gotta go so deep in the story to get it. So, yeah, that's the only stipulation with this one. It's this way? Yeah, this way. And it's right there, glowing. <laughs> oh, also, I put Excalibur on my back. That's what's glowing as well. What is it? <laughs> That's two down. <clears throat> oh, I got a master point for that. Oh, and an auto equip too. That's nice. I'm gonna put that on my offhand though. There it is. Oh yeah, now we got things glowing in our butt. All right, and the last weapon is also in the northern part of Norway. It is somewhere in the mountains probably like right here i'd imagine so i'm gonna walk my butt over there and i'll meet you when we get there all right we're on to the, our third weapon now i believe we are coming up on it right now and i'll tell you the stipulation for it besides just you know killing the order how to actually get it Look at it! Look at it! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is Mjolnir. Everybody say hello! And the way to get Mjolnir is you need to have all of Thor's armor equipped. If you don't, you're not going to be able to pick it up. That's Thanes. Where's Thor's? There it is. 
I believe that's Thor's everything. Let's try it again. Yep, there we go. Now we get the cutscene. Oh, yeah. Now, the question is, can we use it without having the armor on? God, oh, that's spear is humongous. Alright, let's go put our, our uh, St. Georgia stuff back on. That's obviously our best gear right now. Yeah, looks like we'd still still wield it. Well, all right. That's all I wanted to do today. We get some three weapons, and then uh, maybe I'll grab some materials to level them up. If not, I'm sure I. There's always gonna be an if not. I probably won't do it. <laughs> but yeah, if you were ever curious about how to get Mjolnir, Gungnir, or Excalibur, there you go. Thank you all so much for watching another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. I don't want to see you don't miss out on any other episodes. And I'll see you in the next one.